Hey, all across America, you got car clubs. These guys are coming together on weekends, after work. These car clubs become families after a while. Uh, today, we're with the Factory 5 family. So we're gonna check out where the heart and soul came from, where the beginning started. So come along, we're gonna check out the inside. Man, I should uh, be careful I don't drool on some of these cars. And we're at Factory 5. We're in their showroom where we get to see pretty much all their products. Hey, Dave, this Kevin. is the guy Welcome. that started everything. He's the guy that makes it all happen. And you saw outside, we got a lot of good eye candy. Fit and finish is awesome. But Dave's going to show us a little bit about what's underneath, what really makes the soul of these cars. Right, how we make them. I mean, a lot of people can make a pretty car. And uh, what set Factory 5 apart was chassis design, suspension, chassis, and really yeah. computer design. It started, and I can show you over on the chassis, back really in the early 90s, um, CNC revolution, laser cutting, um, being able to de design something on a computer and, and test it on a computer. And then when you go to manufacturing, it's a matter of reducing it to practice. So, you know, here's one of our chassis, and you can see it's, it's really a space frame design. Um, we designed it on SolidWorks software. Uh, it's three designed, and, you know, from a performance standpoint, it's extremely light, but it's very rigid. So it delivers a lot of performance that a lot of customers didn't have. And that's really what the, the heart of the car is, is a stiff frame. You get a spring in there, and now you can't dial in your suspension. Let the springs be at the corners. Let this be a solid piece. You've got plenty of safety. You've got the chassis with the running gear on it. And now you can put that beautiful body on it and make it a complete car. We make, it makes it fun, too, because yeah. we're in our ninth year. Next year is our 10-year anniversary of our, our race series. And when you race, racers are very demanding. The car either works or yes. it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't win. And so I can show you, we can go back to the welding shop, and I can show you how we design the tooling and the jigs and fixtures, but also how we make the stuff. Oh, I'm excited, because I'd love to see how you guys put these together. We're on. All right, let's, well, let's go, go check it out. Yeah, now this, this is a real jig. Now you guys have seen us do temporary jigs on the show. You know, Brian's building his hot rod, but this is a full on dedicated piece of hardware. I mean, this precisely puts everything where it's supposed to be, right? Well, I mean, that's one of the advantages of our company is, you know, we're making all the stuff in the United States. So every piece of steel that we sell, we make here. Awesome. All of these parts are precision cut. Hey, Kev, you want to grab me a part, Kev? All of these parts are laser cut in advance, and then they're drop welded into this chassis jig. So the jig, why don't you show Kevin here, this is Kevin, um, these parts here are, have laser cut tabs already put in them. So when we're making them out, the pieces go together pretty accurately. Now the advantage when you're doing this is your scrap rate is zero. And when you're making stuff in today's economy, we pay our welders good wages. You know, we're an American company. We gotta be really smart about how we do stuff. So we're reinforcing American labor with really good technology. That's cool. I mean, so you got jigs, and not only the jigs help Thanks, locate Kev. special features like that, turn this into sort of a precision manufacturing chassis build. Yeah, and I mean that's the challenge. You know, we can make cars one at a time and do it slowly. Your cost will be twice as much. Whereas when we make stuff using high technology, we're using modern craftsmanship, but we're still making it in the United States. So these parts here, like, you know, you have a control arm from the hot rod. There's laser cut steel plates, round tubing that's precision cut, and, and parts that are dropped into a computer designed jig. And then these parts, this is your front cantilevered control arm for the hot rod. So that's the quality and repeatability and that end product that when you look out on the, on the street or in the showroom, all that fit and finish, I mean, it's pretty obvious. But you're going to feel that, you know, in the way the car drives, the way it handles, you know, and how long it's going to last. Yeah, variability is the enemy. Even on bending, you know, we'll put the tick marks in the steel so that when you bend it, you know exactly where you're bending it. That's still a structurally part, but having this the same every time is really important. And when we go through our shop, you know, we've got four chassis jigs for the Roadster and the Coupe and the Hot Rod and the mid-engine GTM. And then rotisserie is really along the side where the finish welding is taking place. Sure. But when you have high tolerance steel, in tight tolerance jigs, assembly welded by certified welders, you end up with a product that's really, really reproducible and reliable. And then when you go on the street, they all drive the same. And to be honest with you, I mean, I fabricate a lot on my own too. There's no way to get fitment that tight. And anybody who's welded anything, you put a gap between two pieces and weld it and that weld will shrink. And everything starts to move. And all the yep. suspension points aren't where you thought they were gonna be. And I mean, there's just no way for even myself without this kind of jig to build something of that higher quality. Right, and also your costs go up when you're grinding and deburring and yeah. fitting things over and over. These are laser cut parts that are dropped in and welded right the first time. Cool. I like yeah. it. 
Well, let's check out the molding here. I'll show you how we make the composite parts. Sure. Well, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we're going to check out the fiberglass and body side of things. This is either a really cool snow sled or maybe I'm guessing a roadster hood. Yeah, well it's a hot rod hood and just like in the welding area where we have technology that helps our guys build good parts, in the, in the molding area we've got a CNC cutting machine that's cutting basically glass cloth, uh, carbon fiber, headliners, carpeting material. Um, it's cutting the patterns to drop into these molds. Then our guys are rolling these molds out. They're using vinyl ester resin. They're rolling the parts out, making sure there's no voids. And then when this part cures, we're gonna kick it, pull it, and put it in the robot to trim. Nice. What's cool is you guys have these technologies. It's really enabling the craftsman to do his job better. That's right. That's well, awesome. I mean, the truth is that, that you can have all the best technology in the world, but at the end of the day, our welders are welding the parts. The technology just makes it easier. Right. On the CNC cutting side, and especially on the robot trimming side, the parts are more consistent. They fit better, but at the end of the day, someone's got to roll it out perfect. So this is uh, American labor, and we're really proud of it. Cool. I'm excited. Let's go see some more. Let's go see chassis assembly. Right on. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to see some chassis assembly. Hey, welcome back. We're at Factory 5 Racing, and we're in the chassis assembly. We're pretty much at the very end of what you guys do here, right? Yep. Now, I see a lot of panels here. Tell me what's going on. Well, back in the day, an old kit car was a platform frame with fiberglass plopped on top of it. We have a space frame. So what we're doing is we're taking pieces of aluminum that are laser cut, and we're bending and forming them and putting them to make the foot boxes, the engine bay, the trunk, the cockpit. Basically, I'll show you how they work. Now, as a guy at home, he's going to get all these pieces just boxed up is you got to figure out where they go right that's a good point i mean if we gave you 80 pieces of aluminum in a box you'd want to kill us trying to build this car so what my guys do is they come in and, and once again these are cnc parts so their bend marks are already in the aluminum cool. they're bending them forming them and positioning them with tech screws so now you've got your foot box this is a coupe model you get your foot box your cockpit your trunk area splash guards these get put on then the body goes on and that goes over to shipping for a regular guy this could take a long time to get this all to fit yeah, it, it, it comes out of the box looking just like this. Yeah, jo Josh and Fred do this for everybody, and that, that way the guys know where the parts go, and they're lined up really nice. So you can see the interference fit is pretty tight. Oh, that's awesome. So this is about pretty much the end of the line here. You guys are going to box some stuff up, or what happens now? Right. Now, that's the chassis part of the kit. Now, on top of this, remember, we don't do running gear, but we do everything else. That means the, the seats, the interior, the gauges, the fuel lines, the brake lines, the battery lines, the trim, the headlights, all the rest of the car. All that and that's stuff put you can in be packaging. chasing for months or even years to exactly. try to put together. Yeah. Cool. Well, I think that's about it. It's, uh, I think it's time to be driving something. Let's go hit it. All right. That's what I heard. Good deal. Cool. Stay tuned. We're going to go hit the road. <laughs> 